Election integrity and security is top of mind for many as we approach Election Day. In Arizona's Maricopa County, the security side continues to be tested as allegations of voter fraud have plagued that county since 2020. News Nation correspondent Ali Bradley is live from Phoenix this morning with details of threats to election officials just days before the election. Ali? Yeah, good morning, Mitch. So Maricopa County recorder Stephen Richer is saying that at least 140 threats or hostile communications have been sent to election workers here in the county between July and August. Richer confirms to me that these threats are ongoing, something that they've been dealing with here in Maricopa County. Now, he also confirms that this harassment, which was first reported by Reuters, included menacing emails and social media posts, threats to circulate personal information on Line and photographing employees arriving at work. Richard says, quote, if interested in the dark side of election admin in Maricopa County, here's a thorough look. You will be executed, said one, wire around their limbs and tied and dragged by a car. Stephen Richard citing some of those threats there. He says a lot of the people who made these threats are currently under investigation and face time in prison. Now, Richard also says despite these threats, he's grateful for the hundreds of positive messages that his office has also received. So he's saying that uh, a few of them that he shared with us, one of them reading, quote, it's alarming to see how much pressure your office has been under and pray that Mr. Richer and staff are safe in this upcoming election. I have had voted early by mail and have already been notified. My signature has been verified. I have faith in the system. Another saying, quote, good for you and the work you and your staff do to protect our democracy. Now, the majority of the threats received in Maricopa County cited debunked claims around fake ballots, rigged voting machines and corrupt election officials. And of course, this all comes as this county is also dealing with threats around the ballot boxes. Now, we've also seen at least nine complaints that were sent to election officials from people saying that they were threatened, that they were intimidated while they were placing their ballots. Of course, this comes after a judge uh, prohibited a group from being within 250 feet, Mitch, of those ballot drop boxes. They were, a lot of them were armed in that group, and the judge said that can no longer happen. So. Hopefully, they're no longer receiving those intimidation threats. But again, those election workers, those threats have been ongoing. Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation in your cable lineup. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-based, unbiased coverage.